So if you look at the Army uh, pre-2003, we had incredibly lethal tank crews, incredibly lethal Bradley uh, mechanized infantry crews, uh, but we've been very coin-centric uh, you know, for the last nearly 20 years. The Army that invaded Iraq in 2003, uh, especially if you look at our mechanized forces, uh, were incredibly lightning fast uh, and very agile with regards to being able to close with the enemy very quickly, even large armored threats. Uh, and put pre precision fires on them immediately, destroy them, have the infantry uh, dismount, clear through objectives, and a very symbiotic relationship uh, supporting one another. We've tried to culminate uh, an exercise to demonstrate the capabilities of uh, the Armored Assault Company, which is a concept that was initially developed um, in theory uh, a few years ago following the Third Corps' uh, lethality study, um, where they found that uh, there, was, there was atrophy with uh, mechanized crews um, and there was um, challenges with uh, the synergy between dismounted infantry uh, and mounted uh, formations. Previously, for a, for a mechanized infantry company, um, you know, each platoon had a platoon leader and platoon sergeant who would then potentially have to dismount and fight with, um, on the ground with the, the rest of the, the dismounted infantry force, leaving uh, some, some leader gaps in, in the mounted formation. Uh, so what this does is it has, uh, within each platoon, a, uh, a 19 series platoon leader and platoon sergeant um, who are experts on, on the Bradley, and then an 11 series um, platoon leader and, and platoon sergeant for the uh, dismounted infantry aspects of it. So the task organization is uh, four platoons, two infantry platoons, and two mechanized platoons. Um, obviously we would have uh, one infantry platoon with one Bradley platoon married together the whole time. Uh, throughout the training, they would, they would conduct every training together. That way they're as in sync as possible for when we actually conduct the training or for the, for the mission. Um, inside those two platoons, they would stick together and they would conduct other separate operations with the company commander or XO attached. Um, and then what, these, what this will do gives the company commander an incredible amount of flexibility. So he'll be able to do separate training progressions for echelon training at the lower level. So for infantry doing their individual, their team, probably through squad live fires. And then for, at the same time, roughly, uh, you could be doing your gunnery progressions with your experts on the uh, platform. Then you could come together for platoon live fires or whatever the case may be. Um, and then all throughout, you could be doing sticks training together so that you've got that expertise to bring back lethality uh, and help uh, commanders organize their training for the platforms with the armored crewmen. And then you've got the infantry being able to concentrate all their time and manpower on their tasks. By doing that, you have organic leadership in the mounted section when the infantry dismounts, and then you, you have that same capability in the dismounted infantry force. So for instance, if the infantry have already dismounted and are doing their thing, clearing an objective, and we uh, receive an unknown or unanticipated armored threat, the Bradleys can action on uh, without having to have the company commander necessarily uh, work all that because they've got their own platoon leader and platoon sergeant and they can come back together. Situation. The Atropian 16th Mechanized Division has collected viable intelligence of a Denovian motorized rifle brigade massing along their northern border with the intentions of conducting a cross-border offensive operation. Their initial objective is to seize the Harmony Church motor pool located seven miles from Lee Field, to use it as a strategic logistic operating site for future offensive operations deeper into Atropia. Within Lee Field, intelligence reports having identified air defense art artillery, a high value target SA-21 Growler, and a command post system within a hard stand building. The ADACP is protected by a mechanized infantry platoon minus, equipped with BDRM combat platforms. Mission, America Company 129 Infantry seizes objective Iron Mike in order to prevent buildup of combat power and the passing of 1st 25th SBCT. Key tasks, rapidly seize key terrain, secure passage route for friendly forces, and prepare for the counterattack. End state. Denovian ADACP is destroyed. Lee Field is controlled by America Company, and America Company is postured for follow-on operations. 
America Company is currently maneuvering along Phase Line Red or 2nd Armored Division Road in order to establish Assault Position Destroyer, setting the conditions for the operation. Net call, America 6. Fire target Alpha Bravo 0001. Smoke obscuration on objective fire line. Over. Alpha section maneuver to assault position destroyer. Bravo section maneuver support by fire one location. Over. Net call. Support by fire one is established. Over. This is 1 6, phase line white, shift fire 1, over. Net call, America 6, America 1 6. Confirm, shift fire. America 6 is America 1 6. Roger, confirm, shift fire, moving to phase line green, over. America 1 6, America 6. Pull off fire 1, is shifted fire. Infantry, your fight, good to push. On to objective, iron bike, over. 1216, seize objective iron mic, over. This is 1-6, could hold establish an objective iron mic, decisive point of cheek, over.